from 1st of August 2021 to 30th August 2024, we have granted 2,873 approvals, of which 1,970, or 69 percent, were real estate for Galaxy. Let me repeat it, Mr. Speaker, because people will say, I mean, that 14,000 applications have been given and multiplied. That was Investment Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire providing an update on the real estate approvals for Caribbean Galaxy's Canals Hotel project so far. According to the Investment Minister, these figures dispel allegations that St. Lucia had approved 14,000 citizenship applications. In a statement to the lower house on Tuesday, Dr. Hiller also set the record straight on the Rockall housing project, which has been approved for development by BMAX LLC. Reports surfaced recently that the director of BMAX had been arrested earlier this year. He indicated that once he was arrested, he transferred all his shares in his various businesses to other investors. Therefore, he holds no longer, therefore, he no longer holds any interest in the company undertaking the housing project. He stated, number four, that according to Montenegro law, not leader of the opposition law, according to Montenegro law, the prosecution has six months to indict and charge him. The six months expired on August 19, 2024. The persecution requested an extension of two months to complete the investigations. The two months expired on October 19, 2024. He has not been charged. We are presently awaiting further information from various sources on the situation and will take legal advice on the options open to the government of St. Lucia on how we proceed in relation to this developer and this project. The leader of the opposition, Alan Shastny, believes the minister's statements left more questions than he provided answers. Speaking on the Newsweek Live program, he pointed out information he says Dr. Hiller failed to provide. This includes the number of citizenships that Galaxy has been permitted to sell under both the real estate and infrastructure options, as well as the number of citizenships BMAX is allowed to sell for the Rockall housing project. The minister avoided, I think deliberately, um, answering some fundamental questions. If we knew, if you knew for sure there were 6,000 files approved, meaning they're allocated, and so therefore at some point Galaxy would um, get approvals for 6,000 files, $1.2 billion. Wouldn't that make you suspicious? That's a very important piece of information. If in fact that there's 380 million US dollars that Galaxy has already collected because it was approved, how much money is in the escrow account? How much money has been drawn down on the escrow account to build the hotel? And I think that the minister really went out of his way to try to confuse people in already a very difficult situation for persons to understand. The opposition United Workers Party is in the process of mounting a legal battle to get answers. Very shortly, I will be filing a case in court for a judicial review, but also I'll be demanding for an injunction. Because if, if we just go into ask for judicial review, it means it's business as usual until the case is heard. Dr. Hiller, meanwhile, continues to stress that the allegations about the island CIP are untrue. For the DBS News World, I am Zane Romulus.